got Mike here. He's with Swimco Pools and uh, the pool that we came out today was green. And so as soon as our company comes out, we see the pools green. We no longer try to take on this ourselves and we try to call out an expert so, or we tell the agent or the client to call out an expert. So they called out Mike and he's gonna walk you through some of the signs of the things he saw on this pool. Going with the pool looks like this when you walk up to it, the first thing you see is, oh my goodness, I've got a cleanup job in hand. Um, and that, that would be basically a good thing in most cases if it was just a cleanup, but a lot of times there's so many other things that are going on with a swimming pool like this that the expenses get quite, quite a bit larger uh, depending on what kind of problems you experience. If, one of the good things about this particular pool is that it is still pretty level and it is still pretty full of water as well. So you wouldn't expect any major structural leaks uh, at this point in time. There are a lot of cracks that are noticed around the perimeter of the pool. Um, and those cracks are in an area that's called the bond beam area, which is a separation at the top wall of the pool uh, where the deck makes contact to the pool. And it's a common area when there's been some movement around the pool that that area will separate. Um, but to repair it, it re requires removing all of the coping and all of the tile and reworking all of that area. So it's a fairly significant remodeling uh, piece of work. So what would you recommend for cost efficiency? For cost on something like this, I typically recommend when it's this bad anyway that you're going to have to drain it and clean it and look at the plaster, look at drain covers, look at lights, all of those things that you can't really determine whether they're working uh, now or they're installed properly. You would really probably plan it as just sort of a complete renovation project. Okay. Uh, draining it, replastering it, tile coping, uh, the whole shoot and match basically. Um, which will make it look like a new pool when it's done, but it's a significant amount of work to take on. Usually just to do a drain and clean, it's somewhere about $1,000. And then resurfacing? Resurfacing for this sort of pool, you're probably looking at somewhere like four to $5,000 with a basic uh, finish. And then you're probably looking at a similar number to do the tile and coping as well. Okay. $5, so uh, just a basic project, you walk up and the pool's green, and you got some cracking, the equipment looks a little bit older, you're looking at maybe a, about a $10,000 project to get it up and running and looking good again. Typically that's the case and then you know a lot of it depends on once you get outside the pool and you start looking at the decking you know how, how bad does that deck look to you in comparison to the rest of the pool. Could I pressure wash it and clean it? Does it need to be resurfaced? Are there areas where there's been significant movement and this this there's a little bit around the tree, but most of it is actually shifted on the far side of the pool where it's actually settled away. Um, and that's probably an area that you would probably have to rework too. So now you've got some concrete work in nice. addition to that to fix that. Um, looking at the, the equipment on this particular pool, it's very simple because it just has a pump and a filter. Uh, and both of those pieces of equipment seem to be okay. And I was able to run it because the house does have electricity. I was able to run it long enough to make sure that they do work. So, okay. So a little bit of clean up there. So luckily, a lot of not not a lot of expense in the equipment area, but most of it is out here. So. I've always been taught whenever you're running the equipment on a green pool, um, if you have a lot of air bubbles after a certain period of time, you have a lot of air leaks or ceiling that leaks. That could uh, be true, but air can come from a lot of different sources, and especially when you get with a dirty pool, you're not sure how the water is moving through the equipment and the pump and stuff. Okay. But uh, really, on a blue pool, it's working, it's supposed to be working properly and stuff. If you see air bubbles, that's typically something that's going to have to be repaired. Uh, is that typically underground or is it normally at the equipment? Many times I find them at the equipment. At the equipment. Okay, cool. But when I usually have looked at a pool and I can't find anything that causes me to believe it's a leak at the equipment area, it, mm -hmm. almost 90% of the time it ends up being below the skimmer. Oh, the skimmer? Broken line oh. below the skimmer. So that's Mike with uh, Simcoe uh, Pools. If you have any pool questions, I recommend giving a call. and. Uh, that's it. We'll go check out the rest of the house. <laughs>